What's up everyone, this is Jared Production X, and today we have a head-to-head -head comparison with the Apple Sapphire Display versus the Gorilla Glass 4. The Sapphire Display is shown on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. The Gorilla Glass 4 isn't on too many devices right now. This one on the right comes from the Galaxy Alpha. The Samsung Galaxy S5 has only Gorilla Glass 3. I want to give the latest comparison between the Apple and Samsung. If you guys want to check out my other channel, it's going to be linked down below to Gorilla Glass 4 versus Gorilla Glass 3. Like I mentioned, that it's on the Samsung Galaxy S5. But anyways, let's get started with this video. In this video, we're going to have a stress test. So we're going to have a key and knife scratch test. And we're also going to have a bend test. And we're going to have a full comparison between these two. First off, let's just check out the, the thinness of each. I'd say both of them are razor thin. To me, it seems like the Gorilla Glass is a little bit thinner than the Sapphire display. See if we have them both lined up. But both of them are still razor thin. All right, so first off, let's take a look and we're gonna have a key test. I'm gonna start off pretty light. And then I'm gonna really try to scratch it with the key. Now this is gonna resemble everyday use and wear and tear with your device in the pocket. And see if you have your keys in there. All right, bring this up to the light. All right, swipe this off and see if we get see any damage on the phone. Doesn't really look like I'm seeing anything. All right, now let's take it the Gorilla Glass 4. Wipe it off and I'm not really seeing anything either. All right. Now we're really going to try to scratch it up with the, the key right here. Pressing relatively hard on it. Oops. You can see how hard I'm pressing right there. Just damage the table. We're going to keep on going. All right, now let's take a look at both of them. All right, let's take a look at both of them and wipe them off. And I'm holding them up to the light and I cannot see any scratches on either of them. So we're gonna step it up a notch and move on to the knife test. All right, I'm gonna do relatively, I'm gonna start off doing it medium strength on it. Let's see if this does anything. Try not to cut my fingers in this. Still pressing pretty hard though. All right, let's bring them up to the light and see if we have any marks on them. All right, really not seeing any marks on these. Now we're gonna step it up a notch and do it. Try to get a mark and press down pretty hard. All right, let's take a look at these in the light. I don't know if that's scuff or what that is on the sapphire one. Well, actually, it's going away now. I put my hand in the background. I really can't see any scratches on either of these. So both of these passed for the knife and key test, and I was pressing relatively hard. And surprisingly, there wasn't even, even a sign that I did this test on it. But So right now, we're going to move on to the bend test. All right, I got some gloves on for this because I don't want anything to snap and break in my hand. Uh, I know this isn't the best protection, but it's better than nothing. All right, so that broke right away. Barely even flexed. Completely just shattered. Toe's not given any wear or tear. All right, now let's move on to the Gorilla Glass. You can tell it does bend pretty good. So this is great if you're gonna have drop protection. So it's gonna have some give. And let's see the breaking point. Let's see if you can bend it all the way back. Alright, 
still going. And it just completely shattered right there, and that's it. Well, you can tell right there by the grill glass, it just completely shattered, and I have no ending shots of the device because they're all gone. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please do be the cool guy that gives this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one, and this is Jared Production X signing off. Peace.